Hello, ladies. Hey, guys. So, it is Moncton Monday, and I'm recording this because I had to make one of those requests like I did at uh, Midway because they're landing runway tree two because the winds are tree tree zero. Problem with that is it, there's only RNAV uh, approaches there. So, I had to request. Uh, the uh, localizer only for runway 05 or divert S and they approved it so oops talking and trying to make a video at the same time derp it's supposed to send 6,000 so they approved it uh, getting vectors right now I'm getting vectors right now for runway 06 Delta 2728 Halifax are all coming up on it. The ceiling. Montreal via the Halifax Ford departure. Departure runway 32. Your squawk is 4301. What does the ATIS say? Montreal via the Halifax Ford departure. So the ATIS is tree tree zero at eight. View at zero zero five. Overcast at zero one zero. So if if we're going to be doing an issue. There's, I wasn't going to say, hey, can I get a visual approach? It was not going to be reliable. Um, so luckily it's not, not too busy here that, you know, it's going to make a, a big scene, a whole bunch of trouble. And also I uh, have some documentation of how I'm doing with my new joystick setting. If you saw the previous video, I talked about that with calibrating every single time now. Tomorrow night, oh man, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a long flight from um, like Western Alaska to Edmonton for Northern Lights Tuesday to do a return flight that I had done last Tuesday, <laughs> which was the other way around. And um, Attic, I think, was it PDAK, I think was the airport. It, it'll be a longer flight. But this time I'm heading eastbound, so I, if I really want to, I can probably, you know, I can go up high and crank up the speed. Oh, a little, little wind shear there. Yeah, let's just get that set up. Just as a reminder, sometimes I derp. A lot. Actually, I, it's not sometimes I derp a lot. I say it all the time. See, I can't see the airport at 6,000. How far away are we? Oh, I'm still 30 miles out. Probably wouldn't render into like 10 miles out anyway, even in clear conditions. And the thing about runway tree two. This is what they send. Uh, pilot's discretion is at three thousand. Pilot's discretion three thousand. Malicious one. Okie dokie. I got to get on the right window here. I wasn't going to show you that, but. Is like 7,000 feet or something is 7,700 feet maybe was on H2 so we'll be getting more length on this so, uh, landing too this was a short flight I took off from um, Montreal Mirabel uh, what is it about, about 460 miles I just didn't feel like doing a real long flight tonight. Because like I said, I'll be doing one tomorrow night. And actually later on, so like on the 7th, we're doing a group flight. Um, and then... That was the 9th, we're doing a group flight. And I'm planning on doing one on the 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. I'm planning on doing... Um, Wake Island to Honolulu. 
that would be a decent, decent length of flight, about four hours. There's um, there's no, it's it's the off week for um, Tuesdays in New York, so it's a good week to do it. And believe it or not, I am not going to be flying in the FNO this weekend. <laughs> I am all about the FNOs, the SNOs. I love where the action is, but I have a buddy whose birthday is on Sunday, and um. Now that COVID's all done, it's like, and I'm, you know, I'm feeling better. It's like, hey, let, let's, you know, meet up. Let's get out now, make, make up for lost time. So, we're gonna go out. We're gonna shoot pool again. Uh, but because his birthday's on a Sunday, I was like, hey, you know, you want to go out Saturday or Friday instead? And he's like, yeah, let's do a Friday. So, I'll be meeting up with him Friday night. So no FNO for me. So, you guys better butter one for me, or land hard for me, whatever. If you consider my landings hard, I don't know. Just just get low G forces, all right? I don't care if it's like in the 200s. As long as they're around like that 1.02 Gs, then you can do it for me. Uh, let's see, I better get Navigraph back open over here. What the hell was that sound? On my phone? No. Hmm. Okay, 618, welcome to Halifax. You can taxi uh, hotel to the apron discretion. Thanks for flying, Martin. Hey, bro, in the uh, hotel apron out discussion. See you shortly. We'll go back. I did not have that spy open. I. Let's see, let me close the window here. Close YouTube. Uh, get back okay, to open. I did. You a, I did not bother to uh, check YYP how many resident? how many planes are coming in Halifax right yeah, now. Alright, Roger, Roger. Uh, watch UX. Uh, we got 15 arrivals and three departures. Uh, you, uh, you're actually pretty uh, pre staffed with the rock. Kind of uh, spaced out. Actually. See, the event starts at 2300 and goes until 0200. There's some planes scheduled between 00 and uh, 0200. So, yeah, it's going to have a couple planes coming up in about a half hour or no, 45 minutes or so. We'll beat the rush. Oh, a bunch of them departing Toronto. I wonder if someone's having a group flight. Okay, I can't see. And that strobe light is killing me. Anyway, I, I don't know what else to talk about right now. I just wanted to, as I was late on the handoff, I usually like to um, pressure. Well, this is one vector for the localizer. Turn, uh, turn left, slide heading of 080080. Uh, upon the intercept, you are cleared to the Halifax Airport. Localizer approach, runway 05. Left 080, intercept the localizer, clear for the um, localizer approach 05, malicious one. Okay, now I got a brain fart. What was I talking about? And Hello, Jazz 822. I'd like to pick up by a fart about to uh, Bluffton. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm totally spaced out. I, I need to focus on flying, right? Because I keep saying I should, uh, I can fly. I can walk and chew gum at the same time, but I cannot talk and make videos at the same time. I am living proof. Understand, 
and uh, ATC clears Jazz 822 to the Lockton Air Force, Halifax, uh, Sid off 32, flight plan route will squat 4302. Okay, shoot is armed. Push is discretion, give me a call ready for taxi. We'll go 822. Alpha 7 Walker 2489, 9000 with Charlie from Westinia on FZU from Impacts. Walker 2489, then. See, I'm looking at this, uh, looking at the chart over here. Okay. And you're off to there, 2970. 2970, Walker 2489. Oh, it is picking up the ILS. Pretty cool, that's cool. I think. Let's see, that's the thing about, I've said this before about going up to Canada, is it doesn't always pick up a VOR. Shows us picking Hello, it up. Good evening, it's Eric, uh, 101. Uh, we would like uh, IFR clearance to And also the uh, VOR is not exactly on the center of the airport, so yeah. And Arctic 101, uh, Halifax Terminal, good evening. Clear to uh, Moncton via the So I dropped the gear, you see how it pops up on the heads up display there. So we'll get localizer only, no guys, no glide slope. Okay, clear to uh, Moncton Airport via the Halifax Port Departure Flight Plan Route Departure off of 32 Squawk 4303 for Arctic 101. Arctic 101, three back is correct, sir. Bush and Sarah is at your discretion. Give me a call ready for text. Uh, we'll call Arctic 101. And uh, Militia 1, your winds in Halifax 330 at 8, clear to land 05. Clear to land 05, Militia 1. Yeah, I see, so it's not lining up on ILS nav there. The TAC end's not lining up. So, yeah, this is Halifax is one of those airports where I got to drop the gear. <laughs> so, that's where, like, outside the U.S., and even some places in the U.S., where it's like best to load up ahead of time and see if, if everything works as it should. Because there's, there's still, this is, remember, this is X Plane 11. I don't, I hope X Plane 12 will be better about that. All right, nose wheel steering armed. I already armed the chute. Not gonna arm train radar just yet because I am going off of so 1800 at 5.8. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, there you go. I'm oh, not not paying attention to what the screen. <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting DME. That's the, the problem here with doing the, this localizer only approach. It's so that kind of threw me off. Oh, sorry, not my best approach. Okay, we got visual. Let's switch to train radar now. Remember, the winds are tree tree zero at eight or whatever. So yeah, we do have that crosswind to contend with. So maybe you would not have your guesses very low. I'm not even pitching up that high. Come on. She's good down. I'll take it. Gonna have a long taxi. 
Transmission 1, welcome to uh, Halifax, sir. And uh, continue past your next taxi and uh, exit left at Echo. Okay, exit left at Echo, malicious one. Okay, I don't want to try to flip screens here, just wait till I uh, exit. Alrighty, we are off at Echo. I am going to end it right there. Sorry, uh... Mission 1, welcome to Halifax. And, uh, Taxi Echo Golf, apron discussion. Okay, Echo Golf, thanks for the ATC, Malicious 1. Alright, later guys.